Hey everybody, this is your buddy James Flanagan. So today I woke up pretty pissed off, pretty angry, uh, which is never a good thing in the morning. Because last night I was on social media. It's never a good thing to do social media right before you go to sleep. But I was on social media and I saw a bunch of posts about how some restaurants, some locations were proud to exclude certain types of Americans because they voted a certain way. And uh, be it excluding Trump voters, be it excluding Biden voters, and saying stuff like, hey, no Biden voters, we only accept patriots today. Or no Trump voters, we only accept patriots today on September 11th. We're talking about restaurants, we're talking about different establishments, and even if it's one or two, I'm not saying it's every restaurant that's doing it. I'm not saying it's every organization that's doing it. But even if it's one or two, it's one or two too many in America. I think what really disgusted me about the whole thing on, on social media that I was seeing this is how many people were celebrating it. Great job. Yeah, exclude those people. They're not real Americans. And it's all sides doing it, right? Biden supporters doing it to Trump supporters. Trump supporters doing it to Biden supporters. Third party people doing it to the other two parties. It's disgusting. It really just, it just infuriates me. Um, especially on September 11th. I think a lot of people have forgotten on September 12th, on September 13th, on September 14th, what this country was all about during that time, which was coming together, finding common purpose, helping each other. Do you remember that? I do. I remember that. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have differences. Of course, we have differences. I have my strong political beliefs. People in my family have very different political beliefs than I do. But when I see stuff where people are excluding other Americans because of their political beliefs or calling them traitors or saying that they don't love this country, that, that's just disgusting to me. I don't even understand what the long-term strategy is for these people. Like, what is the long-term strategy? So you exclude half of the country 50% of the country, whatever you want to do the numbers with, 50% of the country is excluded. So what type of country do you have? Do you even have a nation anymore? Do we just listen to our, ourselves in these, in these echo chambers on social media? Or we just go to restaurants that cater to Republicans, restaurants that cater to, to Democrats? That's just crap. Like, I, I just don't understand why people think that that is a good mindset. And I'll be very frank with everybody here. Those people that say that are extremely weak. They don't want to admit that, but they are. And America needs strong people to say, look, you might think differently than I do on this particular topic, but you are not the enemy. We are one American family. But there's just this weakness in society. We got to we gotta call out. It, it's disgusting to me. You know, I talked to... Uh, a lot of people, fellow vets, and, and, and a lot of them think the same way. Now, we have our political views, of course. But at the end of the day, we are one American family and we support each other. So if, if you're doing this, just just uh, stop the crap. Just, just stop it. Stop the weakness. And I know some of you are going to be listening to this. Some of you are going to be really offended by the whole thing. And talk about how I'm a turncoat or this and that. It's your weakness showing. The fact that you cannot agree to disagree with someone who has a different political review is a weakness. We got to come together. We won't have a nation if this continues on. I look at my, uh, my daughters. Grace, who's only a week old as of today. What type of nation do I want her to live in? I don't want one where we have one political party goes to one restaurant, one political party goes to another restaurant, and that's celebrated. That's like the Balkans, okay? Look it up. People having questions about that, look it up, okay? So it, on 9-11, on September 11th, I wish I had a message of hope and a message of remembrance, but I just have a message of anger right now. Because someone has to call these, these loud voices out, the people on social media that put out this crap. Uh, and if you're doing it, you need to stop hurting America. That's the bottom line. Stop hurting America. 
We need to come together, find common purpose, agree to disagree, and uh, yeah, that that's it. My my uh, my rant is over, and uh, I'm gonna try to get out some more of my workout here and and uh, get in a better mood. But uh, to all the patriots out there doing the right thing, trying to preserve this nation, trying to move us forward, connecting each other, connecting with fellow Americans. I got to recognize you. Thank you. You inspire me daily. It's not just negative people out there, but you folks inspire me daily. Thank you. So I'm going to cut it out now. Have have a day of remembrance for 9-11. Remember what that day meant to this nation. And actually, in some ways, remember what, the, and more importantly, what September 12th, September 13th, September 14th meant to this nation too, in terms of coming together, finding common purpose, because we lack that right now.